Taylor Swift is one of the biggest musicians of all time, and she's not just going down in the history books, but the college textbooks as well. Our Seanette Wilson explains how a local university is taking inspiration from the Berks County native. Swifties will enjoy some not so subtle references to the mega pop star, but the majority of students taking this workshop are already enchanted by what they're learning. Data Enchanted. It's the clever title of a University of Delaware workshop series on data analytics. If it sounds intimidating, assistant economics professor Dr. Katherine Bender gets that. The friendship bracelets, <laughs> yes. It's a fave of Taylor Swift fans. You're just sitting there putting a bead on a string, and it also makes meeting new people and talking to new people, I think, a little bit easier. Beyond this bedazzled doorway is where the magic of data happens. Are you ready for your life to be changed? Zach Seymour is a data mentor. We're really there as uh, auxiliaries to help along the students. They wear an introduction t-shirt with a twist to the Taylor song, Antihero. Seymour says what's happening here is important for entering the workforce. It just gives somebody a real understanding of what they learn in the class that they don't really get uh, just through doing homeworks and the ex exams. And, and the Taylor tie? Taylor Swift songs, uh, specifically data from Spotify. So looking at um, there's some variables we've made, like uh, how how playable it is for a car ride or a uh, time signature and um, uh, length of the song. Emma Ocker says she had never done data analysis. It's not something just like raw like data. It's like, oh, it's her streaming data or something like that. So it's a lot more approachable if you're new to things. She's excited to learn to use the data analytics tool Stata. It's a way to like clean your data, organize your data, manage your data. The knowledge game here is for everyone, but Emma doesn't want bad blood with super fans. So she has a confession. And I do not self-identify as a Swifty because I feel like that's a little insulting to Swifties. I am very much a Taylor Swift appreciator, but I do not think I have their level of commitment. In Newark, Shanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.